Next, we will hear from Colin. Thank you. I am Colin Pape, the founder of Presearch, and it's an honor to be here. And uh, thank you all for providing this experience. I'm here to speak about the state of access to inter information. Uh, fellow council members, I deliver this report on the state of access to information and intellectual property on the 23rd of June. In 2018, the state of information access is still extremely centralized. The internet is dominated by one company, Alphabet, which controls the following online properties. Google, the number one search engine with more than 96% market penetration in the US. YouTube, the number one video publishing platform with more than 70% market penetration. Google Maps, the number one mapping and local information resource. Google Docs, the number one file publishing platform. Google's Chrome is also the number one browser with more than 60% market share, plus many other products. Social media is dominated by another company, Facebook, which controls the number one social media platform with more than 2 billion active users. Instagram, the number one photo sharing platform with more than 800 million active users. And WhatsApp, the number one chat app with more than 1.5 billion active users. Apple maintains a tight stranglehold on the ecosystem that serves its 220 million users, while Google, through its Android platform, serves most of the other 2.5 billion mobile users. It's never been more centralized. As more and more people wake up to the fact that these online giants are using and sometimes abusing or failing to protect user data, a growing backlash has resulted in Senate hearings for Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook, significant fines imposed against Google and the EU, and recently the new GDPR legislation intended to protect user data. Coupled with the awareness that Facebook, Google, and Twitter are censoring results, for instance, the recent bans on cryptocurrency content, the tech monoliths have set the stage for the decentralized revolution that is underway. We are making tremendous progress. The infrastructure we need to build platforms to compete with the incumbent monopolies is taking shape. In addition to Ethereum's powerful blockchain, which has enabled many projects to launch quickly, new blockchains such as Nebulous, which is designed for content ranking, are making it easier than ever to launch decentralized alternatives. IPFS, peer-to-peer -peer nodes, BitTorrent, and other upcoming alternatives are making it possible to host content in a decentralized manner. This has enabled a number of projects to grow quickly. Some standouts include DTube and BitTube, decentralized alternatives to YouTube, Steemit, a decentralized alternative to Medium, Poet for content monetization and attribution, Presearch for decentralized search, Bat and the Bat token for rewarding publishers and monetizing private personal data, Minds.com and MeWe, decentralized social networks. These platforms are all rewarding creators, protecting personal privacy, and adding to the open source ecosystem. Although much of the world, including most of us de decentralists, rely on centralized platforms, it is getting easier to switch to decentralized alternatives. And 2018 will be the year that we will be able to vote with our browsers and send the big online giants a message. We want to own our content. We want to control our personal data. We want to be rewarded for our efforts. And we want more choice, less censorship, and more transparency. The time has come. Thank you. All right.